Here is the answer to the problem of why the coil did not energize and pull in. Now let's take a look here. Okay, I have the coil out, or the contactor out. Let's take a look at the model plate on this. Note, coil 120 VAC. It appears what's happened here is someone has installed a 120 volt coil contactor in a 24 volt system. I don't know what was going on here. This contactor looks brand new. Let me kind of get that out so you can see it. Okay, this thing looks, uh, this contactor, it looks brand new. I think it was installed. They couldn't get it to work and finally gave up on the whole unit. But they were using the wrong contactor. And that's a problem with this silly little thing. This is not something I would ever have thought would be the problem. In fact, when I found it, I thought, uh, oops, somebody's miswired something, and this thing does need a 120-volt uh, contactor. But then I started looking further, and no. it's uh, This should have had a single-pole contactor on it because it didn't need the two poles, but, you know, that's not a big deal. The problem is it's a 120-volt coil contactor. That was what the problem was with this silly thing. Okay, got my machine running again. I jump her. Off she goes. Life is good. So, uh, that was just one. Somebody put the wrong contactor in there. Couldn't figure out what happened and gave up on it, I guess. Anyway, that's that one.